Okay, let's look at some new problems. And here's the first one. How much heat is needed to completely melt 425 grams of ice? Well, first it says melt, so, and heat. So I know I need one of these formulas. But melting, the word melting is nowhere here. My first hint is that no temperature change is mentioned or given. So that first quest, that first formula with a change in temperature, well, that's out of the question. So I have two left. One has HF and one has HV. HF is heat of fusion. HV is vaporization. Well, I can remember it one of two ways. You can remember that fusion means melting. Or you can remember that vapor is a gas and melting has absolutely nothing to do with the gas. So I'm going to be using the heat of fusion formula. So I'm going to write the formula first. Q equals MHF. Write my list of variables. Okay. <clears throat> uh, what does the problem give me? Mass. What am I trying to find? Heat. Well, I cannot solve this equation with only one a piece of data, I need this. So, oh, it says ice. Ice is water, but as a solid. So, I can go to table B. The heat of fusion of water is 334 joules per gram. So, 334 joules per gram. Let's plug it into the equation. Q equals 425 grams times 334 joules. Remember when it's per, that means it's on the bottom, like that. So I can cross out grams. Leaves me with joules. Joules is a unit for heat, so all I have left to do in my calculator is do 425 times 334 equals 141,950 joules. Let's think about significant figures. Three here, there should be three in my answer. One, two, three. Look at the next digit. It tells me to round up 142, but I need to fill in the remaining digits up until the decimal point with a zero. Mm, nine, five, zero. Would be the same. I don't want to do that. So 142 like that. This is the right answer. You don't just want to, after you round it, you just don't want to bring those same numbers down. You want to change those digits to zeros up until the decimal point. So 141,950 rounds to 142,000. Don't forget, a unit, no naked numbers. Okay, let's look at the next question. Okay, what mass of water will be melted at zero degrees Celsius if 1,500 joules of heat energy is applied? Although it does mention a temperature, it does say melted. So let's think about that. There is no temperature change. Zero is just the melting point. So I'm going to use exactly the same formula that I just used. Write my list of variables. This time I have 1500 joules for heat. Mass is what I'm trying to find. And I should remember, I just wrote it in the last problem, the heat of fusion of water. So I'm going to plug in numbers where they go. Remember, before I write it, per means it's on the bottom. Okay. Well, I'm trying to solve for mass. So I need this out of here. So the way I usually think about it, when there is a fraction, remember, you're going to multiply by the reciprocal of the fraction to get rid of this. That will help you keep the units in the right spot. So multiply times this. You see how that's the reciprocal of this? 
So that means this cancels out and this cancels out. But if I did it on this side, I have to do it on this side. That helps me keep the units in the correct spot. Okay, this is really over one, like any number. So that means joules would cancel out and I'd be left with grams. Perfect. So let's take 1,500 divided by 334. I get this big, long number. Okay, check significant figures. In the data given to me, in the numbers given to me, two. So I need two in my answer. So that means I keep the four, and then for this four I decide. Keep the four or round up. I'm going to round it up. So 4.5 grams is mass. And there you go. That's how you solve some heat of fusion problems. No temperature change. I hope you learned something new.